Hey everyone, back with this month's edition of West Coaster. I'm a little late for the February issue, but I want to get this video posted. I don't know if you guys saw the cover, but boom, look at that. DIY beer infusions. And yes, I am now officially a hand model. Uh, that is me pouring beer out of one of my kegs into a French press full of hops. That was my pale ale I brewed, and that was one of the fusions we did. And I didn't know that was going to make the cover, so that was a nice surprise by the guys who uh, included that. So let me find the article in here. Um, even got a nice shot of my uh, tap handle. That was pouring my uh, Irish stout in the cocoa nibs, and you can see some other uh, things. So anyway, what was the point of this article? Well, it was taking the beer infusions that I've been doing videos on, and uh, for today I have the breweries. Oh, tart. This is from 2011, and I infused it with raspberries, blueberries, and blackberries. It was a mix I got at Trader Joe's, and uh, put it in the French press for a little over an hour, and drinking on it now. It's a pretty tart beer, but the uh, the sweetness of the fruit kind of kind of helps uh, balance out some of the tartness and adds a little bit of sweetness, and then adds additional fruit character to the base beer. So this one worked out really well. I highly suggest you trying it. But as far as the article goes, it's for home brewing. So, kind of the thought was, you know, take a French press and use it as a tool for brewing. And use it as a pilot system of sorts for your home brews. And you can use it for wort, you can use it for finished beer that's uncarbonated or you can use it for finished beer that is carbonated and it's a great white experiment with different ingredients on a smaller scale before you might want to scale up a full entire batch. So I kind of talk about the fact that there's hot side additions and cold side additions. The hot side additions could be uh, testing out different hops. Now you can take some work that uh, maybe you want to test out some different finishing hops and you're boiling away. Pull that word off, throw it in some hops, and let them steep. And that will be kind of act as like a you know a flame out addition or you know a whirlpool addition, and just kind of see what aromas you get for, and, and what kind of flavors. So hot side additions is a good way to test out ingredients. And then of course the cold side additions where I think most people would do it, and that's pretty much what I mean post boil and cool down. Probably post-fermentation, but not necessarily. You could always do stuff uh, pre-adding pre uh, yeast and fermenting, so. Uh, I kind of start off by talking about how a French press can test out ingredients to maybe use and fix a beer that maybe didn't come out as well as you hoped. I had my dryer stout and I wasn't too happy with it, so I ended up not adding any cocoa nibs, but I did some infusions with the cocoa nibs and it really helped out, add a little more chocolate character. and uh, I didn't completely save the beer, but you know, that's something that you could do as well, and test out certain ingredients and, and flavors that might help you in a future batch of, of the beer. Let's see, I also talk about, yeah, as I mentioned, the, the adding different hops and testing out different hops, like say before you want to dry hop, and maybe test ratios of the hops you want to use in the dry hop or adding in additional hops. It's a great way to kind of pull some beer off and, and test that out. And then, uh, let's see, I mean, it's been a while since I wrote and even read this, so kind of going through here. Um, oh yeah, I was, it was the, the last kind of thing was, was using s samples of grains and actually doing mini mashes and taking uh, a single grain and seeing what it tastes like. Say you want to know what victory malt tastes like or what flavor black patent malt adds or some of these newer malts that are out there. Of course, you're gonna, you can either do the infusion as you're steeping a grain, you say if you're an extract brewer and you want to know what your steeping grains, what flavors they're adding, that's a great way to test that out. Or you know if you're properly controlling the liquid that's in your French press, which should easily get within the conversion temperature range, you know, somewhere between 145 and 165, well you can full and do a full-on conversion and 
test out different malts and it's a great way to learn about different malts. So there's so many possibilities with French press to, to deal with small samples of, of wort or create wort and, and just play around with ingredients, learn about different ingredients. So that was kind of what the article was about. And of course, you know, it works in home brewing. It works with uh, doctoring up some of your commercial beers you might be familiar with. Uh, prime example was me taking Bourbon County brand stout and adding coconut to it to make uh, equivalent sort of of their the Bourbon County proprietors, which was the rye barrel aged with coconut, and I didn't have to go and trade for that beer. It was that beer the proprietors, the coconut version was only available in the Chicago area. So I, I decided to make my own version instead of trading away a bunch of great beer. So uh, that's another thing you can do with the French press. So it's going to wrap up this month's February 24 edition of West Coaster. March article is going to be uh, Women in Beer, Ladies of Craft Beer here in San Diego. So I, I don't know if I'll, I'll do a video on that, but I'll have a, an article on the Sud Sorority, which is a all-female homebrew club that has recently started in San Diego. So. If you happen to be a female watching, either wanting to learn a homebrew or looking for uh, a way to go to a homebrew club where there's less guys and you can talk with other females easier, then Sud Sorority, if you're in San Diego, is, is a great way to do that. And I know there's some other uh, all-female homebrew clubs throughout the country as well. So I don't know them all, but uh, you guys can find that out. Anyway, it's going to wrap it up. Until next time, cheers.